Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Marine Reptiles from the uh, Safari LTD Carnegie Collection. Now, there have been five Marine Reptiles released for the uh, Carnegie line, so let's start this uh, review off by taking a look at the one that was made first. Now, here is the first Marine Reptile released for the Carnegie Collection, and this is also actually Safari's first Marine Reptile, which is the Elasmosaurus. Now, first look at this figure, it of course has the outdated um, swan a neck that you know something plesiosaurs never had but this was made in like the 1980s so I guess that's fine and take a looking at the detailing see there isn't a whole lot of detailing right here but then again I don't really mind because this is a really old figure and this is also one of my first safari figures I've got and this thing was repainted later on as like you know a blue a blue elasm source which I actually like this one you know actually like the blue version better but this one's still cool actually See, uh, proportions, the front fins are, you know, larger than the uh, back fins, even though they're pretty, I think they're all the same size. See, on the bottom, it says this was 14 meters, and I'm assuming that this is a 140 scale. It's actually a pretty cool asthma source. So let's take a look at, I mean, like, let's compare it to the 2013 asthma the uh, you know, the figure that was supposed to be, you know, an updated version of this one. And as you can see, there's a lot of differences in a sculpt coloration and proportions of course this is more scientifically accurate you know by the size of the flippers the coloration and you know the position of the neck so I guess since elasmosaurus had stiff necks I'm guessing like this is the farthest it can go to the side as you can see these two you know scale a uh, scale uh, together quite well with the Carnegie one being slightly larger so yeah, that's the elasmosaurus if you want this figure uh, check eBay because you know that's basically the only place where you can find Carnegie figures nowadays. So let's move on to this to the next marine reptile. Here is the next uh, marine reptile, which is the Mosasaurus. This is also the smallest of the um, Carnegie marine reptiles. And by looking at it, of course, it's outdated because you know Mosasaurus were never able to rear their necks up like this, uh, nor did they have a frill uh, running down their backs. See the detailing though is actually pretty nice. This one actually probably has the best detailing of the. Um, marine reptiles see all these you know crocodile like scales which is another inaccuracy because mosasaurs never had scales they had well I, I i think they did have scales but they weren't as visible as on this figure right here see the detailing is pretty nice see on the bottom you got these crocodile like scales right here and this is actually probably my uh third favorite of the um uh carnegie marine reptiles i actually really like this paint scheme and this figure reminds me of the uh, Maelstrom, the character from Ice Age The Meltdown, because uh, this figure does look similar to um, that character. See the tail right here, there's no fluke, but this was made in the 1990s, so that's fine. See the main colors are, you know, like a light green for the underbelly, and then then like um, a yellowish green for right here, and then a forest green for, you know, the top. So let's compare this figure right now to, to the updated version in, that was released in 2010. And this figure, so needs an update because figure is pretty inaccurate and it's, it's not that it's not that good honestly see the short tor torso and then no tail fluke and this uh head sculpt that doesn't really look intimidating so yeah i prefer this figure over um this one honestly even though this one uh, has more accuracy issues but yeah that's the mosasaurus i really like this figure probably my third favorite of the uh, carnegie marine reptiles so let's move on to the next one Next up is the largest of the five figures, which is the Chronosaurus. Now, this is probably my least favorite of the, the Carnegie Marine Reptiles, even though I really like this paint job, but see the proportions seem a bit off. Its torso just looks like a huge sausage, and um, <clears throat> the, fins, the, the fins seem kind of thin right here. The back ones are small, so I, I don't even know how this animal is supposed to swim. You see the detailing? Uh, see, it's not much, but of course, being an old figure... I, I really don't mind. See, it, the, the detailing right here is just, you know, just sculpted lines right here. Of course, the most detailing is in the head right here. See, the, the teeth are kind of sloppily painted. S see, the teeth are basically sculpted together and they're not really individually sculpted. You see, the head is fairly accurate. And of course, like the other two marine reptiles, this figure is outdated. Because this Chronosaurus is based off of the skeleton at Harvard University which that one included too many uh, vertebrae in the skeleton, which is why, you know, the body seems longer. So yes, this figure was made around the time Chronosaurus was thought to be 42 feet, even though 
I mean, like, now uh, we know that Coronasaurus was actually 33 feet long and had actually a much shorter torso. So here's the Carnegie Coronasaurus next to the much better 2017 Safari LTD Coronasaurus. As you can see, a huge improvements in the sculpt, the paint job, and the proportions. See, this one actually has huge flippers and a shorter torso and a more accurate head sculpt. See, this one has individually sculpted teeth, unlike that one right there. And yeah, there's actually just, you know, uh, there's more with this paint job right here than this one. So yeah, this figure is uh, probably one of my favorite Safari figures. So yes, that's the uh, Chronosaurus. That, nothing, m not much to say about it other than it's, it's not really my favorite and it's, you know, outdated like the other two. So let's move on to the next one. Next up, we've got the Tylosaurus. Now, this is probably uh, my second favorite of the uh, marine reptiles. As you can see, the sculpt on here is is actually probably one of the most accurate. This was made in 2009 when, you know, Carnegie figures started... I mean, when Safari LTD started making their Carnegie figures more scientifically accurate. And of course, this one has a tail fluke, but this was made in 2009 before we found out that uh, Mosasaurus had um, shark-like tails. See, the proportions on here are very are accurate, and the sculpt overall is accurate. See, in the mouth, you got a lot of detailing in there. And it's even got the teeth in the back, which is something uh, most, if not all, Mosasaurus had. See, the paint job on here is very awesome. You got just a plain white underbelly with like, with like you know, a yellowish, a yellowish green for the um, the middle, and of course a black striping for the top. And this figure is actually pretty long too. I'm thinking it's like 12, 13 inches long. So yeah, this uh, not much to say about it other than it's my second favorite, and it's a uh, pretty scientific. And it's scientifically accurate, excluding the tail fluke. Here it is next to the updated version for the Wild Safari line, the 2017 Tylosaurus. And sculpt and detail, overall, I still like I like the 2017 one more. But paint job, I actually prefer the Carnegie one. While both paint jobs aren't really scientifically accurate, this one's actually you know more scientifically accurate because Mosasaurus did actually have you know a uh, black on their top to camouflage with the air, with their ocean environment. And it's unlikely that large Mosasaurus, like Tylosaurus, had, you know, this bright yellow and small black striping color scheme right here. But overall, see, these two f figures are are very accurate. Clo this, Of course, this one being this one being slightly more scientifically accurate because it actually has a tail fluke. But as you can see, the, the Carnegie one is larger than the Wild Safari one. I kind of wish they made this uh, model larger. So yeah, that's the Tylosaurus. So let's move on to the last uh, Carnegie Marine Reptile. Next up, we have the Ichthyosaurus. Now, out of all the Carnegie Marine Reptiles, this is the only Carnegie Marine Reptile that didn't get a resculpt for the Wild Safari line, which is kind of sad, honestly, because we don't get much Ichthyosaurus from Sa Safari. I'm, I Actually, this is Safari's only Ichthyosaur figure, and sadly, it's discontinued. And I was hoping that we get, you know, an Ichthyosaur or another prehistoric marine animal for 2019, but instead, all we got were just, you know, dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and other reptiles, and, and some mammals as well. See, this is probably my favorite of the Carnegie Marine Reptiles. And when I think of an Ichthyosaurus, this is what I think of. And it, and it has a little ammonite in its mouth. The ammonite itself is uh, well painted and detailed. See, the paint job on this Ichthyosaurus is awesome. And I think and it's pretty scientifically accurate because marine reptiles were, you know, a dark color like this. And see, the colors, of course, you know, black for the top. A yellow striping. And then got uh, some cream on the face and the other belly. Then got, you know... Uh, this uh, silver gray right here. See, see the head sculpt right there looks very much like an ichthyosaur, and even uh, you got tiny teeth sculpted in the mouth. And I just wish the ammonite wasn't there because I'd rather just have you know the ichthyosaur as its own figure, but it's fine. See on the bottom, ichthyosaurus 2010. So yeah, this is uh we haven't gotten ichthyosaur from Safari. In eight years, unfortunately. Hopefully, 2020, they will probably release more marine reptiles since we didn't get any for 2018 and we're not getting any for 2019. So, yeah, that's the Ichthyosaurus. I can't really compare it because, like I said, the Ichthyosaurus never got a rescope for the Wild Safari line. Well, there you have it, subscribers. This is my review on the marine reptiles for, from the Carnegie Collection by Safari LTD. Now, if I had to give each of these figures a rating, uh, the Elasmosaurus would probably be a 7 out of 10, the Mosasaurus would probably be an 8 out of 10, the Chronosaurus probably like a 5, 5, 6 out of 10, the Tylosaurus probably a 9, and the Ichthyosaurus will probably be a 9 out of 10 as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, 
If you liked the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.